Hello, this is Panda Mushroom with a Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today we're doing a Class Jaguar 900 Cargo MF, which is multi fruit. Here you can see all the bits in front. Let's just have a quick look in the shop. Here we are, the Class Jaguar 900 Cargo MF. It will cost you $350 a day maintenance it's a conversion from LS uh, Chieftain I think with permission uh, by Tonda CZ um, it's got a 60,000 capacity it cost you 355,000 the Orbis front for it for cutting corn or maize whichever you want to call it that will set you back 52,000 and maintenance is $65 a day and the width is 10.5 meters which is quite a good spread on it then there's the direct disc which is also 10 and a half meters and this is $52 a day maintenance and $48,000 cost and this is for cutting grass and cereals this one will cut grass, wheat, rape, barley, millet, drinkle, dinkle, sorry, rye, oat, mowing which is poppy, pea, soya, rice, green wheat, tricked kale, cotton, sugar cane And there's a trailer for the direct disc uh, that will set you back fifteen thousand and twenty dollars a day maintenance. And there's a couple more things: the PU three eighty MF, and that's for basically windrow stuff, I, I believe. Um, grass, dry grass, wheat, barley, oat, rye, dinkle, green wheat, and trick kale whichever that is and that costs 55,000 and 45 dollars a day and the last piece in the pack is the easy collect which is 65 dollars a day maintenance and that will cut sunflower sorghum cucumber tomato carrot and onion and a ten and a half meter spread on that and that is 52,000 Okay, let's have a quick look at them. This one is the Orbis. So, this is one that cuts the corn. That's the 380, which is the windrower. Um, not too bad, so you can't clip through them. This is the Collect or Collector, whichever. You can just clip through that. That might be because it's articulated, which normally in Giants you can do anyway. This is the direct disc, which is on the trailer. I've already put it on the trailer. See? You're alright. There's a the trailer, and here's the machine itself, which you can't clip through, you might clip through that because you can on the uh, big M and all that lot let's just jump in quickly as you see I've switched it to field mode at the moment um, if we switch it back to if you press N then that switches it back and folds it all up maybe one of the only things is um, slight different colours on different items like the back of the Jaguar is a slightly different green to the bottom 
and the front and the trailer and a couple of the implements are slightly different green but you know it's nothing to worry about too much that's yeah, just nitpicky really if we just jump in the cab we've got an IC that folds the pipe out There you go. We've also got different camera views. If you press the C, get back in the cab. Just press the IC, get rid of that. And press that. We've got a camera inside so we can got different views. And also And it's, it's not too bad inside. That's the only thing on I see them two bits. If we jump out, we've still got the camera. That's a camera view. That's another one on the front so we can see what we'd cut in. And there's on the back. Just if you back it up to the trailer, just a quickie, and connect the trailer, you can see X to attach the cutter, which then locks the cutter down so the cutter's not going anywhere. And obviously, you have to press G to select the machine again itself. And the trailer, I'll just disconnect that for a second. We'll just have a... I'll just park it in road mode. We'll just have a quick bat about, see how it handles. Get about nearly 30 out of it. And the steering is quite... It's not too bad. It, it can be quite sharp if you're not careful. But if you're just gentle, you can ease it round. You can also, if you press the IC, you can change the camera view from here. Just get rid of that for a minute. As you can see, it's, it's got an information. If if we press zero on a numpad, it doesn't work. On well, mine, anyway. So, if you press nine, because sometimes zero and nine, it, it changes. We've got one, two, three, no four, lights on five, lights on six, seven, opens the door, eight, no, nine, no, Five, six on the actual key, seven, no. Nine takes that off. Zero. Horn. Home key, we've got light flashing lights at the front and the back. It says Y for rotate the bunker. But normally because manual ignition mods sometimes on then it press Z and N N seems to it says N here for the Y but it also sets it up into drive mode so there's a bit of confliction there but 
apart from that, you know, it's not it's not too bad. Okay, all right. What we do is we get these bits and we go and do a bit of multi fruit chopping. So I'll just pause this and I'll see you back in a minute. Oh, welcome back. There we are in front of a field. This one has got onions, cucumbers, tomatoes and carrots. So we've got the easy collect on the front of this. So what we do is we just unfold it. There you go, not too bad action. Fairly quick and smooth. We'll just change it to the um, machine and switch it to work mode which is N we press H and away we go there you can see the chaff going in we're going from onions these are onions cucumbers it's all registering as doesn't like the tomato um, sorry it does like the tomatoes it's just that my fault I put a break in it so it's not going straight into the tomatoes let's try that one press H there you go it does like tomatoes <laughs> as the tomatoes and it's done it again because I've put another break in see that's me doing different crops do two crops at once there eh? yeah we can do carrots and tomatoes at the same time <laughs> As you can see it's registering as chaff, it's, it doesn't, or it seems to not worry what it is, you can see it going into the bunker at the back. Alright, which way is it going to go, left or right? At 80% the um, lights on and start flashing to tell you it's almost full. Just turn the lights on. I'll just get a tractor to show you quickly. Apologize, I'm going to run over the crops. I know some of you don't like running over the crops, but we'll get to it. There you go, get your trailer underneath. And it empties out of the side. It empties out fairly quick, it holds 60,000 litres, don't forget. So it's a decent size. If you're using a normal trailer, that's a full trailer full. Um, if you're using the in-game Agriliner. Okay, what we do is we just tap to the next one. We just connect up to direct disc. There we go. Right, on this field it should go through straight because I've got wheat. I'll just set it in field mode and hire a worker.
that's going through the wheat now it's going through barley this is canola this is oats Uh, moya or poppy seeds and then it go on to grass and then it should stop because it won't go or shouldn't go on to corn with this head on so I just turn round yeah, go back again till it's full so there's a few multi fruits it can go through we just go to the next one there's the corn we just undo the corn head if you've only got corn and all the standard fruits then there you go this is the one for you we just set it up again there we go ready and press H and there you go you can see it Chopping away on the corn. It can take other fruits, um, but that be if you've got them maps to take uh, dinkle, green wheat, and all that lot. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pause it and see if I can find a map to do some windrowing on the oats and that. Okay, welcome back. Um, all the only mixed fruits I could find that would windrow at the moment is um, oats. The trouble is, it's the combines rather than the windrow um, fruit. So here we are. We just have a quick go. We've got um, hay that is soaking up grass, normal grass, here we are going through the oats, windrow oats, then I tried soya, I couldn't find a combine to cut that, nor green wheat, um, sunflower, normal barley, That's with the P, uh, PU380, I think it is. This has helped you. And this is the Jaguar Class Jaguar 900 Cargo MF. This is Panda Mushroom. Thank you for listening.